Hi, my name is Darren. I'm here to show you how to put together your brew build system. You'll get three boxes with kettles, three with the burners. This is the mash ton screen, long thermometer, short thermometer, a couple of pumps, caster wheels, your two connection plates, handle, a couple of pump brackets. You'll get a hose set and the ball valves and accessories for the pumps. Let's start with the, with the burner. First, the handle goes here on the back side. Two holes are pre-drilled. All the holes are pre-drilled in the system, so they go on the upper holes here. Next, you'll want to put on your connection plates. It takes the six bolts. Put the pump bracket on uh, this side here. Your pump slides right into there. The triangle goes up on that pump bracket. Um, just to make it a little easier, make sure you put it on the right direction. Pump drops back in there. There's a couple of flat bars that attach the back side. One goes to the bottom holes, one goes to the top holes. You'll want to do the same thing on this side. Connection plate, flat bars. Don't forget your pump bracket on this side. Your wheels go down here on the bottom. And you need to hook up the um, the regulator. The regulator has a needle valve on there that controls the flow of the gas. It'll come with a little brass uh, jet. You won't need that one. The one you'll want to use is the one that's in the burner. You need to make sure that that's finger tight. Put a crescent wrench on the back side and then tighten up the regulator side uh, good and tight. You want to hold them together so that you don't tighten that up so much that you can't use your airflow uh, control. So when you turn your flame down, you'll want to reduce your flame. And if you turn it down too low, you'll see that the flame starts getting kind of yellowy orange. And if you leave it that way, it'll kind of sit up the bottom of your pot. So you'll want to open that back up a little bit. And then when you turn your flame up, you'll want to open it up, not all the way, I don't think, but uh, you'll see if you open up too far, the flames will start dancing off the top of the burner. So you'll just close it back down a little bit, Let's bring those flames back down. And that's pretty much it for the frame. So let's go to the kettles. Your boil kettle will have the ball valve and the plug inside the kettle box. The only thing you really need to add on that is the male quick connect. The front side of the ball valve there. For your mash tun, you'll use your sparge arm. There's a bolt here in the front that clamps it to the kettle. Up, up on top here, allows you to adjust the height of the sparge arm. Right now we'll move it out of the way a little bit so you can see inside the kettle better. The mash green handle goes into the back. There's a keyhole in there. So you'll drop your pickup tube down into the keyhole. Put the top screen back on top of there. You will need to put the male quick connect to the back side of the ball valve there. And then that pickup arm clips onto the, onto the uh, quick connect. This is your long thermometer. It goes here. Which is actually out front here. There's a notch in your lid. You want to put the notch around your sparge arm so you don't really need the plug in this one. There's a female quick connect that goes that you'll attach to the bottom of your sparge arm here so you can hook up your hoses. The hot liquor tank uses a little pickup tube at the bottom, maximizer, and kind of hard to see so it's in there but this is what it looks like it screws into the back side of your ball valve as well this one hot liquor tank takes your small or thermometer it goes in your upper hole and then let's take a look at your pumps your pump first I would start with a T put your T on first then your female quick connect into your T the short nipple goes in the T there. Your ball valve here for bleeding off some air if you need to. Your other ball valve 
for controlling the pump flow on top here with a male quick neck on top. And your hoses, you'll have two longer hoses. They'll both go from the bottom of your pump up to the kettles. This is your hot liquor tank, so it'll flow from the hot liquor tank into the bottom of your pump to the end and then out up to your sparge arm and then out from underneath your screen back down to the bottom of your pump out the top of the pump into your boil kettle this particular valve or hose has two females on it so this is the only one like this and that will go from here to your boil kettle you can adjust these hoses by just taking off the hose clamp cutting it if you think if you like it a little bit shorter or longer and there's one more tube and if you want a gravity feed into your carboys or whatever uh, you can use this if you want to pump you would just reverse your tubes when you're done with this and then you would pump out the top into your fermenter however fermenter, whatever kind of fermenter you use. And I think that's about it. Now have fun.